And coming up next, it's our main event for the one bantamweight Muay Thai world title. Defending champion Nongo Gadao takes on the young phenom from Algeria and France, Brice Salval. Barely out of his tombs. The French Algerian phenom, Brice Dalval. He's already a Muay Thai world champion. And now, his opportunity to dethrone an absolute living legend. What's going through his mind? How does he do it? How does he pick the lock? That is Nongo Gayangada. Many, many people have tried. Mostly, they've fallen by the wayside. But Dalval says he's got the perfect game plan. Prepared himself unlike any other camp in his history. Can this young man shock the Muay Thai world? Can he crown himself the one Super Series world champion? It will take a Herculean effort from Brice Dalval. Les sacrifices que j'ai dû faire pour la boxe, c'est d'avoir quitté l'île où je vivais avec ma famille et des nombreux stages que j'ai fait en Thaïlande, partir des longs mois, j'ai été loin des, des miens, loin de ma famille. Je me bats pour ma mère, pour la rendre fière et, et pouvoir lui donner un avenir euh, stable et, et bien. La seule chose que j'ai à prouver, c'est de prouver à ma mère que je peux réussir et que euh, tout ce qu'elle a fait, ce n'est pas, pas pour rien. that he is in right now and utilize it. This young man has a seven centimeter reach advantage on Nongo and he's gonna have to use it. He's gonna have to put that jab out there. He's gonna have to keep the long range weapons coming hard and often. He has to find openings. He has to create those openings. He cannot stand in front of Nongo and let him dictate how this match takes place. This is his opportunity. His moment is right now, Michael Chavello. The stars aligned for Delval tonight. There he is. You talk about a living legend of Muay Thai. You talk about Nongo Gangada, the one Super Series Bantamweight World Champion, the four time Lumpini Muay Thai World Champion, Rajlamurn Muay Thai Lightweight World Champion, two time Thailand National Muay Thai Champion a two-time Sports Authority Thailand Fighter of the Year. Undefeated 4-0 in one Super Series, he has done it all, and he has done it to the highest degree. Says he will knock out Priest Delval here tonight. The great Nongo Gayangadao says he will school Delval and give Delval a lesson in the true art of Muay Thai, as only 
Nongo Kanga Dao Kuntun. ศิลปะมวยไทยครับเพราะว่าเพราะเรียนเรียนมาแต่เด็กก็ก็นำนำนำมาใช้จนถึงปัจจุบันนี่ครับไม่จําเป็นต้องต้องตามต้องตามผมทุกอย่างคือถ้าเขาอยากเป็นอะไรก็ก็ตามใจเขาครับไม่ไม่บังคับคิดตอนไปเด็กก็ก็ยังไม่ค่อยคิดหรอกตอนตอนตอนไปเด็กก็ยังคิดไม่ได้คือก็ก็แค่ตอนไปเด็กก็แค่ชกมวยหาเงินให้ครอบครัวแค่นั้นครับไม่ได้คิดอะไรก็คือว่าต้องต้องต้องพยายามชกให้ชนะถ้าชกชนะผมก็หมายความว่าคุณจะได้เงินเยอะครับคิดแค่นี้อันนี้ครอบครัวก็ต้องคือผมเป็นเป็นหัวหน้าครอบครัวผมก็ต้องก็ต้องทําทุกอย่างเพื่อให้เพื่อให้ครอบครัวมีความสุขเพื่อครอบครัวครับครอบครัวอย่างเดียวเพื่อครอบครัวเพื่อพ่อแม่เพื่อทุกคนมีอยู่มีกินดีๆครับไม่ครับไม่ไม่ผมคิดเพื่อเพื่อเพื่อพ่อแม่เพื่อครอบครัวเพื่อลูกIt's a one Super Series Muay Thai clash for the Bantamweight World Title. 
Longo, the elder, has the experience, gives up the height. Thailand versus Algeria and France. Let's go to Tom Lack. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. A round of three minutes for the one Super Series Bantamweight Muay Thai World Championship. Our three judges scoring this bout at cage side are Eston Thomas of Malaysia, Rob Cox of the United Kingdom, and Rosenberg Rossetti of the Philippines. This match is presented to you by Global Citizen. S1 Muay Thai World Champion, standing at 178 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai record of 33 wins and five losses. Training out of Mahmoudi Gym, representing Algeria. Presenting to you, Reese the Truck Introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he stands at 171 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai record of 259 wins and 54 losses. Training out of Evolve MMA, representing Thailand. Give it up for the reigning and defending one Super Series Bantamweight Muay Thai World Champion, Nongo Gayang Hadao. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Elias Dolapsis. Red, blue, center ring. Blue. Okay. Five rounds, Muay Thai. No striking to the back of the head or to the groin. Be strong, be fair, obey my strikes all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, let's go. Thailand versus France, one of the Cut. most heated Cut. international rivalries in the Muay Thai Ready? history. Pink Ready? Ready? Davey versus back. Danny Bill, King's Cup 94. Pink Cobain no. versus Diddy no. Diafak, 1991. John Charles Skabowski, Pinsuit, the five times they met. And now, history to be made again. Michael Chevallo, Mitch Chilson with you. This one brought to you by Global Citizen. Nice left hand early out of Southport starts for a moment there, but he's still bad. Switching stances early on. Roundhouse kick from Nongo. Front kick to a roundhouse kick from Brick, still bad. advantage of Dalval is only seven centimeters, but it looks a lot more than that. Oh, figure is Dalval. Stockier, more muscular, Nongo Gangadal. Look for the front kick there, did Dalval. Nice for a teeth kick to both legs. Snappy jab from Nongo. Dalval kicks the lead leg. Nongo, as always, a picture of relaxation and composure. Everything that you think Dalval can throw at Nongo, surely Nongo has seen it before. I like how Dalval is mixing things up right now. He's not standing in front, he's pushing forward, he's creating a lot of angles. He's giving Nongo a lot of different looks. He's not letting Nongo be offensive. He's forcing Nongo to counter strike. Certainly the busier of the two is Chris Dalval. It's been mostly a kicking arsenal from the towering French Algeria. Front kick again there from Dalval. Outside leg kick. Nongo goes downstairs. A little bit of damage on the forehead of Nongo Gandhiyar. Plenty of scar tissue there. Nongo smiling at Dalval. 
they also want to play some mind games, try and get inside the head of Priest Dunbar. Mungo knows every trick in the book. Al Mitchie wrote the book. Yeah, he is trying to read it right now to Dalbao, who's doing a pretty good job in this first round. He's being very active. He's keeping Nongo Bayangu now on the back foot, so he's not letting Nongo go first. And typically we've seen, you know, Nongo utilize a lot of sweeps. He likes to catch the kicks, which the kind of the, the small gloves aid in that, where we've seen a lot of, you know, um, time for Nongo to compete in the small gloves. So now this is a big glove matchup, so he's not able to control the legs the same way. Good push kick there by Dalbao. Nongo got in to try and sweep the support leg. You're right, Mitch, it's much more than a seven centimeter advantage for Dalbao. He's got to use it here, though. Let's roundhouse kick Nongo. Good kick left hand there from Nongo to end the round. But it was an impressive one from Brice Dalbao. Lots of kicking. Let's see how Reece Dalbao is utilizing that reach advantage that he's got. And we're seeing it primarily coming from that, that push kick. Beautiful off-balancing right there to Nongo to put him on his backside as Nongo kind of gets up and smiles at Reece Dalbao. He's like, yeah, you got me. That was a pretty good round for Reece Dalbao. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting Nongo to come out a little bit more forceful, but Reece Dalbao is showing a lot of good looks and different leg kicks different push kicks, and he's showing a lot of good movement, keeping Nongo trying to stay off his back foot. So, this is a good round for Bruce Dalbao. He needs four more just like it. Don't forget to follow One Championship across all your social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. Second round for the Bantamweight World Title, sold out in the Phu Tour Indoor Stadium in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. First ever one championship show in Vietnam, our first ever all striking event. High kick from Brice Dalval had a very impressive first round, sitting behind his front kicks. There it is again from Dalval. Cross, inside leg. Eight's now from Dalval, guard up very high. Momo goes to the ribs, into Jack. Delvar, Mongo cracks away to the right ribs, then goes upstairs, full arm guard protects the head. Mongo, good high check, doesn't check the second leg kick. Goes up to those four arms again. You can see the welts around the side of the body from the kicks of Nongo Gangadal. Goes for a body shot, moves in through a chance for the elbows. Great game here, Chris Dalbao. Showing no respect, nor being overwhelmed by the big occasion. And impressed so far, Dre. He's doing a real good job of just maintaining his distance, keeping Nongo off balance. But we're starting to see Nongo start landing those body kicks as the side of Chris Dalbao's body is sort of telling us that that's what Nongo does. He gets into the clinch and puts you on your backside. Fantastic dump there from Nongo. 130 remains in this round, set for five. And was also trying to catch the kicks a lot more in this round. But the big gloves make it a little bit harder to catch those kicks. We typically see them right the legs with the low, with the small gloves. And these are big gloves, so it's a little bit harder for, a little bit easier for Brice Deval to pull those legs out. Alval staying up high on the balls of his feet. Moving well, the young freshman. Perhaps kick it from Mono, had some sizzle behind it. Step up front, get nicely done, beats the balls of the feet in the midsection. Time out now, gets into the ring. And referee Elias Tolaps has broke them. You start to see Nongo slowly start to level up, increase the speed, the velocity of the shots. In typical Thai style fashion, they start to amp up as they go throughout the match. Nongo again with the round kick off the back. Cracks away and a slip flew off the body of Chris Delvar. That right kick is something truly spectacular. No, no, saw all the damage that it did to his last opponent, Suzuki, and we're starting to see a little bit of it right there from Chris Delvar. Final seconds of the second round. Some good work here from the right at the foot there of Delvar. Jumping me! Forces 
Thomas and Longway back in the corner, Monday Kira. Two punch combination off the kick there from Dalvar. Showing no respect, trying to change Longway. Longway's off the roundhouse kick. So impressive, Chris Dalvar. We'll come into the third. Another, another good round for the challenger right there. But we started to see Nong O, you know, really start to level up. He starts landing those kicks to the body. That's his secret weapon, is just landing those kicks over and over again. They score points. Freestyle has got to change things up, maybe start catching the kicks, or at least not standing directly in front of him when Nong Lo starts to throw it. Maybe start to sidestep a little bit. But he's got to make sure he keeps that arm nice and tight to the body, either cross block, or maybe start to check some of these kicks because he's got those long legs. He can easily get that leg up there, but of course, that's easier said than done. Slower to emerge from the corner is Brice Dalval. Third of five for the Bantamweight Muay Thai World title. Held by Nono Gamgadao, challenger Brice Dalval of France and Algeria. Last jab from Dalval early on, backs up Nono. Inside leg kick from the French back. Mongo powers off the ropes. Mongo kicks no downstairs, sprints up the leg, beautiful attack. That's what Mongo does. Those off balancing techniques, Michael. He catches you on one leg and he sweeps up the other one. Nice little front push kick again, landed by Dalbao. Outside leg kick, Dalbao. Volume, put down the points. Duval does have a couple of knockouts. knockouts. He does have a couple of knockouts by knee. So he, he can bring that long leg up there and touch you on the chin with that big old knee he's got. Spinning back elbow there from Dalval. Mongo Stop. ties him Stop. up Stop. a tango. The Prince Alapsus gets between them. Oh, away like a stock whip to the upper arm there. That round kick of Mongo. There goes downstairs the liver section. Cutting side kick from Bongo. Dalval always moving, always harm the balls we speak. Jab two from Dalval. Overhand right Bongo. High knee from Dalval. Came close. Bongo fights him with a right hand. Turns him around. Dalval drifts back to center ring. Body shot there from by Nongo's. He goes up top then, connecting with the chin. With the middle right hand. Nongo's starting to find his rhythm, understanding he's had a hard time in the first two rounds. Oh, this back there. Back. But he's starting to connect right now with that right hand. Best right hand of the match so far from Nongo going to death. I like how he's also starting to go to the body with that straight right hand. So he's going to the body and he's going to the head of Delval. He's consistently throwing that right kick too. Getting lots of things. Oh, that looks hurt. That leg is hurt now of Bruce Dalval. The ball's got to start checking. Better avoidance there of that leg kick. There's that right hand again, knocks the mouthpiece loose. The aggressive meter turning up for Nono. The adrenaline rising for the world's champion. The power salvos have been unleashed here in the third round. <laughs> Switch his stances. Trying to protect that damaged leg at Priest Delvar. No, he sees it. He smells it in the water. Now he's starting to go after that leg. You can see the welt from that low leg kick right there on the calf. Nice kick to the rib cage there from Nongo. It's a sickening thug that he shin makes as it goes into the body and into the legs of Brice Dalval. Nongo in control here, Dragon. Yeah, that third round was all Nongo. If this was a three-rounder, Brice Dalval could have got himself a win, but right now, these fourth and fifth rounds are the most important in Muay Thai, ladies and gentlemen, and expect Nongo to turn it on. There's that beautiful right hand that was doing good work. I like how he's going to the body. He's threatening with the body shots, going up top with the head shots, but I like 
the leg kicks. I want to keep seeing go to the leg kicks, get Breeze Delbao to start reaching for that leg, start thinking about that leg kick, maybe force him to change stances. If he changes stances, that's going to open up the entire side of his body so he can really start digging those right kicks in. This fourth round is Nongo's round. An ultimate round on, of action. Dude, dude. They call these the championship rounds. Nongo Gangadal defending the belt of the world title against Chris Dalval. Dalval started very confidently first two rounds. Third round, though, Nongo stepped it up. Brought in the heavy leg kicks to the thigh and below the knee. Also, the body shots like that. Let's see how Dalval switches stances to that left leg. And then he tries to pick up that right leg. Nongo starts attacking the leg. Just beautiful execution of technique thrown by Nongo Gangadao. Nongo just accumulating the damage here on Brice Delval. Step through knee from the Frenchman. Roundhouse kick from Delval. Southpaw stance here from Delval to protect the damage left leg. And that opens up the entire left side of his body too. Nongo, patience as always. As he got Delval red now, as he's seen everything the Frenchman is going to throw at him. Nice two punch combination there thrown by Delval. Nongo eats it, spits it right back at him. Have to catch the kidney leg there, Delval. Nongo goes to the body, that hurt him. A moment's grimace there from Priest Delval. You see that Bruce Delval has really developed that poker face. He's starting to let these things show. And Nongo's taking advantage of it. Feel that reddening into the side of the body. Courtesy of the round Stop. kicks off the right leg right. of Nongo. Getting flashbacks of the Suzuki match. That's the exact same thing that happened. It's just that right kick is just an absolute hammer. Just tenderizing the body. As I said, 1,400 pounds of force on a Muay Thai round kick. Val has got to be wondering what he can do to turn the tide here. A little short, sneaky right hand on the inside there from Mongo. Under a minute remaining, four for five. Jab from Delval. The rear of the legs like they were there in the first round. Tough from Mongo. He's got to keep in mind, Michael. Bruce Delval is only 20 years old, so this is going to be a massive learning experience for him. And we can't count him out yet. He's still got power. He's still got belief in his deep desire to win this belt. So we can't count him out yet, but he is only going to learn and grow from this experience with the legend no more. Mono jabs again. Roundhouse kick. We're going to tenderize the left side of the body. Still plenty of movement here from Priest Delval. Certainly is not giving up. He's not going to go quietly into the night or wave the white flag. As Mitch said, anything can happen. Dalval may be one jumping knee away from dropping Nongo and really throwing a spanner in the works. You know, we've seen that Nongo's kind of just gone back to that kick to the body. He just keeps going to the body over and over again with that right kick. Since the stance change of Breeze Delmao, now he's now he's going out of southpaw, so he kind of you know he's giving up that body a little bit more, and Nongo just keeps going to the body kick. He's not really attacking the leg like he did in the second and the third round, but we are seeing him go back to that body kick over and over again, and that scored very heavily for Nongo Gayangadao. Breeze Delmao, I mean the second round was close, you know, so it could be two to two at this point. Momentum seems to be on the side of the champion, Nongo Gangada. Fifth and final round, three minutes remaining. Can we see Dalval power up or will Nongo power home? He's damaged the leg and the left side of the body of Priest Dalval. Dalval's going to suck it up. Got to dig deep. Look at the sportsmanship, the respect and honor. Dalval's got to go to a place he hasn't been to before. Can he go there against one of the all-time greats? It will take something almost superhuman for Brice Delval. And he's coming forward, and there's a step through knee, and there's a jab from Delval. 
Has he got something superhuman in it? Sometimes in the past, we've seen Nong Oh kind of ease off in the fifth round to kind of give his opponents a little bit of a break, but he's got to keep that pedal to the floor and keep it going on Brees Demel. You can't give him a moment because Brees Demel could walk away from this thing. The question is, how far does Nong Oh think he is ahead? With our three judges scoring in a 10 point must system, Nong Oh cracks away to the end. Left ribs. Nice front kick there from the chair. Dalval's got to get the output high. Dalval's made some good adjustments here in this fifth round. Now he's starting to land some shots. Give him that body kick, though. Oh, no. Nice push kick. With all the damage that Dalval has taken to his legs, is he capable of getting airborne with the knee? Dalval might want to land a big leg kick just to show a little bit of that accumulated damage. He's going to land a nice leg kick in. Bruce Dalval a little bit, show that he's hurt. That'll score heavily in the eyes of the judges. I agree, Mitch. I think there was a point in the third round where I thought that three or four clean leg kicks from Nongo may have dropped Dalval. But because of the stance switch, Nongo went to the body kicks. And he stayed with the body kicks for rounds pretty much three and four. And mostly four. Referee collapses. Okay. Pulling okay. time okay. here. Okay. And we reconnect. Nice right, two punch combination there from Nogo. Dalval skips forward, trying for the knee, trying for the front kick. Beautiful sidestep from Nogo to avoid that knee. It's amazing heart on Prince Dalval. You can't take that away from him. Oh, nice snappy two-punch combination from the Frenchman. Oh, no. Hasn't been as convincing here in the final round. Hatch, counter, was the knee from Delval. Knee guard from Bono, and Delapsus breaks them. Half a minute remaining now. I just think that superficial damage and the build-up of accumulated damage on the leg is going to weigh heavily on the minds of the judges. Bristol uh, Bell is really putting on a good performance in this fifth round. He is pressing Longo backwards in this final round. Now Bell still comes forward. Longo shades off the last 10 seconds. Judges after five. How do you score it, folks, wherever you're watching around the world? Does Nono Gangadel maintain the title or does it go around the waist of Chris Delval? Look at Delval skipping forward. He did pretty good out of that southpaw stance. Barely misses with that jumpy knee. That could have scored very heavily. But Delval had a good fifth round. Might have had rounds one and two, three and four were obviously to Nong Oh. I think it's going to come down to that, maybe the second round and the fifth round. How the judges see it, that's pretty close, Michael Chimelo. Well, will it be a close call amongst our judges inside the Full Tour Indoor Stadium, which is home today? Magnificent history making night. We'll join you again, folks, on October 13 for one century, our 100th show. Two shows in one day. All the stars will be there. Demetrius Johnson, Eddie Alvarez, Angela Lee, Jean Ginnan, Georgia Petrosian, Sammy Sanna, Onglan Sun, Brandon Vera. All competing October 13 in Tokyo, Japan on one century. The biggest martial arts show in history. They are still tabulating here ringside. Is it going to go back to France, the world title, or will it go back to Singapore around the waist of Nong Ho? It has been a magnificent climax to a brilliant evening of striking. Let's go to Dom Lau now and find out our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one scores this contest in favor of the red corner. 
Judge number two scores this contest in favor of the blue corner. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision. And still one Super Series and to play Muay Thai World Champion, Nako Gagan Hada. The accumulated damage to the legs and the body of Chris Delva sees Nono Gagan down. Retain the world title. Hats off if you're wearing a hat to Chris Del Val. Incredible performance from the youngster. But that man is simply a legend. Nobody has yet to pick that lock here in one Super Series. You get the feeling that he can reign for a long, long time. Don't go down to doubt. The Dragon is now going to have a chat with the world's champion. Here's Mitch and Nongo. Ho Chi Minh City, I am here with your champion, Nongo Gayang Hadao. Nongo, it was an absolutely spectacular performance. You landed the body kicks over and over again. Did anything here tonight surprise you about your opponent's performance? Yes, today I'm really happy. So I went today. So I work hard. I training very hard. I training more than last time. Because over then, today very strong and very tall at me. So I went today, I'm really happy. Thank you. Yeah, I went. Mean, I want to say thank you, my coach and my team. And you off MMA. And thank you for Shanti Sijotong for keep me come back fight again. Yeah. I love Vietnam. Yeah. My bell. This bell, not only me alone. This bell, everyone. For everyone. And 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 I want to say, I, 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 I love Vietnam and I love Thailand. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, still the one bantamweight Muay Thai world champion, Nongo Gayang Adao! Nongo Gayang Adao continues his reign of gold in one Super Series. A tremendous five-round technical battle with Brice Delval.